In this video, we're going to go over the T7 science section, and we're specifically going to cover the topics that will be on biology. Now, you're going to have nine questions out of the 50 science questions on biology, so definitely important that you know what you're going to be tested on, and that's what this video is going to be all about. So before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description below. There are links to our T7 practice test, the Smart Edition Nursing uh, T7 online course, our Facebook study group, and tons of other helpful resources, so I want to make sure that you guys check those out. So let's go ahead and get into it. So like I mentioned, there will be nine scored questions out of the 50 on biology. And much like the chemistry uh, questions, the biology questions will test your understanding of all the biological processes and how they work together. So it's less about just memorizing the definitions and more about the applicable knowledge when it comes to biology. So consider each thing that you need to study as a building block that you know continues to build on each other and help you understand uh, each topic as you go along. So for mac macromolecules, um, you'll need to know uh, each type of macromolecule, uh, also known as biomolecules. You want to know what is its structure, what is its role or its function, what is their functional unit, um, what is an example of these macromolecules. So study the different ways covalent bonds can be broken down and you'll want to know each macromolecule and, and kind of how it impacts the human body and how it's important in a healthcare setting. So for example, monitoring lipid levels such as um, like cholesterol and triglycerides uh, is really important for managing cardiovascular health and just your health in general. Um, and studying the two different metabolic pathways and what happens in each of those pathways. Understanding how cellular respiration connects to metabolism and overall homeostasis. Um, and that leads into microorganisms. Uh, so for microorganisms, you really need to know each type of microorganism, but specifically you should know their cell structure, the unique characteristics, and how they reproduce. Now for each type of microorganism, what kind of diseases they cause and examples of, uh, for each. Um, knowing the common infectious and non-infectious diseases would be important. Um, knowing what makes a disease infectious or not infectious and reviewing the types of transmission of diseases, the different ways they can be passed along uh, to people. So the, uh, there's direct, content, uh, direct contact, indirect, and airborne transmission. Uh, study light and electron micro microscopes, know what they are and how they work, um, know, you know what they're used for, the pros and the cons of, of those different microscopes. Now when it comes to cell function, structure, and type, you'll need to know the cell theory who discovered cells and what are cells, uh, prokaryotes versus eukaryotes, uh, animal cells versus plant cells. Know the differences between those two. Um, the most important keywords I would say that you would need to know and things to understand would be things around the cell membrane, cytoplasm, the Golgi apparatus, uh, things like lysomes, mitochondria, the nucleus, ribosomes. For cellular respiration, uh, there's a few things to know here. Uh, the information that you studied on the metabolism will help you understand and answer questions on cellular respiration. So you'll want to know the equation for cellular respiration. You'll see that uh, on the screen here. And reactions during cellular respiration. So you have glycosis, oxidation of pyruvate, the citric acid cycle, um, the electro electron transport chain, um, so understanding the uh, photosynthesis and the Calvin cycle and kind of how those things work and what the processes are uh, in things like photosynthesis. Now cellular reproduction is something that you'll see questions on and there's really two ways that living things reproduce, asexually and sexually. Uh, there's the cell cycle and what happens in interphase, you know, first gap phase, synthesis phase, and second gap phase. Uh, what happens in the meiotic phase, all things that you'll need to know. When it comes to mitosis, you'll definitely want to have down pat the, under, uh, the understanding of the four phases and what happens in each stage of mitosis. Uh, from mitosis, you have meiosis, and that is to really understand its, uh, its rounds of cell division and how that works and what happens in the four phases of that cell division. So you'll need to know what are the products of mitosis and meiosis and understand what is happening with the chromosome in each of those processes. Um, what else? There's uh, understanding how cellular reproduction relates to things like genetics and DNA 
And if you can get an understanding of all those things, then you'll be uh, in good shape for the test. Again, check out the Smart Edition Nursing resources that we have in the links. Our online course is made specifically for the T7, covers every single topic with videos and flashcards and question banks and practice tests and everything that you would need. And, and you can access all that on your mobile app or in the uh, on your laptop or web top online. Um, so from here, we have uh, genetics and DNA. So this is gonna be something that you'll need to know about. And this relates to things like uh, Mendel's theory of heredity. You wanna know what that theory is. Uh, and then that goes into Punnett squares. Um, you want to know DNA and all of its parts, such as the four uh, nitrogenous base purines and pyridines, uh, the three processes of DNA. So for the three processes of DNA, that goes into the replication, uh, which is the process of synthesizing a new strand of DNA. And the DNA will separate into two strands and build a complementary uh, strand that is different. There is uh, transcription, and that is the first step in using DNA to uh, uh, direct the making of a protein. It's the process that kind of rewrites uh, the information in a gene, um, in DNA, and into a molecule of RNA, which will be used to code for proteins. And lastly, there is translations, and this is the process of making proteins. So know all of these things for genetics in DNA, and there's a lot more to it, but this video is really just to give you a topical overview of what you need to be studying and the types of questions, the material that it'll be covering on the test. So that is everything that is on the biology questions for the science section. Now again, you can check out the links in the description, check out the T7 online course. There's a free practice test if you wanna get an idea of what the questions are like and then we will have videos for all the different sections of the test from English reading math and science science there's chemistry videos um, this is the biology video you'll have um, a and P and so on so that there is everything that you need on the channel so for that reason if you found the video helpful like it and subscribe because those new videos are coming out and I want to make sure that you guys have access to them and get notified as soon as they come so good luck on the test and we will see you in the next video.